everybody this is Tiffany I hope everyone's having a great day I came on to get prophetic word so guys um, I had a dream it was uh, two days ago and it was me and this gentleman we were in the supermarket so we weren't inside the aisle we were closer to the register but in between you can say so he ended up putting a cooler bag over his shoulders so the strap was like covering his chest right and then he ended up opening the cooler bag and then I peeked in the cooler bag and nothing was in there I just remember seeing the insulated cooler bag empty and that was it so um the interpretation for this dream it's actually kind of quick i know you guys see the title so the first direction i went towards when i saw the cooler bag was cold right and then um once i started um going over the dream the holy spirit um pointed out it highlighted the strap that he put over his chest so the strap that he put over his chest is he's guarding his heart right he's guarding his heart but for for what right so considering that when I looked in the cooler bag and it was empty and the first thing that came to me was cold and not hot it's pretty much um it's empty because he's in the supermarket it's plenty of options so it was considering that his cooler bag was empty we were close to the register so in between aisles it's like you're not getting anything but you're not paying so you're not ready so you're in the middle he wanted to it, it was like you know when you have a lot of options there are people that can be um overly confident about that but then there's other people that confuse he w he was more on the confused side that he wanted to pick something that's why he opened it he opened it but it was empty so it's like he wants to pick something but he's confused so he's confused because he's blocking his own heart so um the lord led me to a scripture about a stony heart so this is why he can't make a choice he can't make a, a good choice because he's blocking his own heart um the thing is <laughs> they're not aware whoever this message is for is not aware that they're blocking their own heart and this is why they can't make a great choice so this is the thing so they're blocking their heart because of um the, the ways of the world so i'm gonna um read this scripture here actually let me just go to my notes oh wait hold on uh-oh Okay, so it's Ezekiel thirty six twenty six. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and will give you a new heart of flesh. A new heart, a renewed frame of soul, a disposition and mind change from sinful to holy, from evil to good, and from carnal to spiritual. A heart in which the law of God is written. It is a sanctified heart in which the almighty grace of God is victorious and turns it from sin to God. All right, so now I'm going to break down in, uh, each part of that scripture here. It says, I will give you, God, our Heavenly Father, takes it to himself as indeed it is his only work. A new spirit, this is exegetical and tells us what the new heart is. It is a new holy frame in the spirit of man, which is put in him, not found in him, given to him, not wrought by his own power. The stony heart, stubborn, senseless, untractable heart that receives no kindly impressions from the word providences of spirit of God in its ordinary operations and influences that hardens itself in a day of provocation that is hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. This heart this evil heart shall be taken away and this God will do only can do it only he can do it so pretty much this is why um when the Lord gave me this scripture it led me to know that because of sin meaning the ways of this world is changing it has changed their heart so this is why they're blocking their heart from what they've experienced in the world they want to make a choice it's time to make a choice that's why we were in between aisle and register they want to make a choice but it's like they can't make a choice because of the, what has happened they block their heart but they don't know they block their heart so it's like they have to go into prayer um so what the lord had led me to um to actually as, give this message is we actually have to pray so whoever comes to your mind first whatever um gentlemen comes to your mind first to pray for this is the person that you need to pray for it's because some men don't have anyone to pray for them and this is why we're getting this message um some men can get this message as well maybe i'll put a question mark over there you know if they especially if they have a prayer life um 
they need to go into prayer regarding this stuff because they have to address it in order to make the right choice. You know what I mean? So we need to pray for whoever because I've the Lord led me to like four men to pray for already. Um, so whoever comes to your mind, you take them to the Lord in prayer and then you pray for them. You pray for them to seek the Lord regarding their heart and the pain that they've went through, that they're um, blocking their heart, that that pain will come to the forefront so they can address it, so they could heal from it, so then they can make the right choice. Because at this time, there's a lot of men that's confused regarding who to pick. That's why we were just in between eyes, like I said before. But let's see here. One second. Yeah, block his heart. I put in parentheses guard. So they're guarding their own heart, but they don't know that's the reason why they can't make a choice. So whatever has happened regarding their sin, sinful nature, this is blocking them. Yeah. So let me see if there's anything else I have here. Oh yeah, that's right. A change of heart came to me also when I had um, read the scripture and broke it down. A change of heart. So I'm going to read that. When a person has a change of heart, a reversal of one's feelings, intentions, or opinions. So whatever uh, they're stuck on because of what happened to them in the past, um, pray for them to have a change of heart regarding this stuff too. Because once we, our prayers, the Lord, that bring, when we bring them to the throne, this is what will happen after. They will change their heart and, and then open up, if that makes sense. Because they'll let the Lord um, they'll let the Lord heal them and then that's when the change of heart will come in. Yeah, your prayer will help him. Um, it could just be any it doesn't have to be your future spouse, it doesn't have to be someone specific. It, the Lord will lead you to who to pray for. Oh yeah, that's right. So um, market, let me uh, read market, symbolic of the world, business profit. So right when I read that, this scripture came to me. Um, this is Mark eight thirty six. I'm going to read the King James um, Version. For what shall, sh so, uh, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? So the ways of the world is actually eating this person up in a way. It's like, he needs to get it together at this point so it being in the middle is like a choice has to be made this has to be corrected because it's like he's just going to uh choose wrong one and then uh continue on with this um this behavior this this, this stony heart is not going to lead him anywhere but down the wrong path so i think that was it so whoever comes to your mind to pray for, pray for them, um, pray for them. Um, they have broken hearts and they're not addressing it. As we all know, a lot of men don't, um, they don't deal with emotions well. Um, but we, considering that we received this message, this it's time um, for them to heal from these, um, these old wounds at this point because they wanna make a choice. Um, he just looked very confused. Um, he has options, but he doesn't know who to choose and what to choose. So yeah, they're, yeah. So anyway, that's it, guys. I hope this message helps somebody. So um, if you have a check in your spirit, take this message to the Lord in prayer. And then whoever comes to your mind, pray for them in this type of manner. Um, they need to um, check their heart in order for them to move forward in the right direction. All right, guys. I love you guys. Hope this message helps somebody. I'll see you guys soon. Who are willing and have a blessed day. Bye.